Guys, I am really stoked for this video. Hey guys, it's the Lego Detective, and yesterday I found Hasbro Beyblade Burst early. They're supposed to be released on January 17th. And I didn't just find the first wave of Hasbro Beyblade Burst. I found stuff from the second and third waves. From the second wave, I found Doom Sizer Oval XL and Wyvron Armed Massive. As well, I also found um, the starters, or sorry, not the starters, the boosters, where basically what they did is they took the four first starters and they redid them with like different color schemes. So I know that there's like uh, Kirbyus uh, Central Survive or something, or like Kirbyus Spread Survive. Uh, there's a, what is it, Spriggan Heavy Defense, and then there's a one for Valkyrie and uh, Ragnarok, and I saw those in Hasbro form, so of course it's uh, Kirby, Kirbyus, Rock Tavor, Valtriac, and Spryzen, because all the name changes, and we have uh, Doom Sizer is the name change, and then Wyvron, it was changed from Death Scyther to Doom Sizer, Wyvern to Wyvron, and then something that I'm most excited for the Beyblade Burst Super Grip Launcher, which was actually announced by most people. It was, like, found out about only, like, a week or maybe not even two weeks ago, um, which this is crazy that I found these, and I was able to, re and I'm going to review them, and I'm going to talk about these. I'm super excited. Super Grip Launcher is in this video, so let's get started, starting with the box. So, here is the box. Um, it's, my camera's kind of shaky because I can't really get my stand so high. But, yeah, on the very top, it. I'm just going to, like, do it from the side, I guess. We have Ages 8 and Plus, the app, Beyblade Burst logo. Now I can just move it like this. It says Super Grip Launcher. Shows a picture of it. Performance top system, if you can see that. More grip, more rip. It's kind of casting a bit of shadows. Shows the length of the thing. Um, yeah, pretty cool. It says that there are three ways to launch, which I will get into the three ways to launch. And you can connect it to another Beyblade Burst launcher um, to get double ripping power, which uh, well, it actually says sold uh, for a double launch. Sorry, not double ripping power. Because if it said double ripping power, that would actually be a lie. <laughs> Just has a bunch of crappy information stuff that I don't have to read right now because that's boring. And uh, on the inside, there is a little sheet of paper, which actually says WBBA, which is really interesting. Really surprising that it says that. Um, I believe that it's just how you play. Um, I actually haven't looked at it yet. Yeah, so this is just the rules of how to play. Um, Beyblade Burst and a bunch of different warnings in different languages. So, now let's look at the actual, um, launcher. So, here is the launcher. It looks very good. I really like the look of it. It actually looks a little bit like a light launcher because of the shape of this section with a bay logger attached to it because of this. Um, it looks really good on the top view. Much better than any other Hasbro launcher. Sadly, there are all these gaps here to save plastic, and seriously, Hasbro, look at this gap. It's really, really thin, the launcher itself, and this is the gap. This is the complaint that I have with Hasbro launchers. It's really, really light. Um, I guess it, you could say it's lighter than the light launcher, um, <laughs> but they're, they're hollow. They didn't even fill them up. Like... Takara Toby, look at this quality. Look how thick it is. Uh, it's a bit thicker than the Hasbro. I'd say that it's... Uh, the... The... the Sorry. The uh, the Hasbro one is only like two-fourths as thick as the Hasbro... Uh, as the Takara Toby one. Um, and it's like really good quality. You can see all the screws together. It's like really solid. It feels really good. And yeah, this still feels good, but I can't help but wonder why they didn't make this a bit longer because then it would be a much better grip my hand is, always feels really awkward around this area because i just can't push it down this is the most i can push it 
that's the most I can push it down. Um, here's the code for you guys to scan it since this hasn't been released. So go for it, scan it in the app. Um, all of the codes are the same. Every single Super Grip launcher. Um, unless they decide to make a, like a string launcher version, which on that day I will yell hallelujah. Um, <laughs> but this version of the Super Grip launcher with the ripcord, that's the code for it. So you can go ahead and get it on the app. It says Beyblade, which I really like. That looks really nice. Um, Takara told me only has like small, tiny little print like engraving. This I like. This is more physically appealing. Um, like it looks more striking than this. But this is just better quality when you look at it from the side. From the top, someone that's new to Beyblade Burst, I would probably choose this if I was new to Beyblade Burst because it looks really cool. Um, over this, like if I just saw like a picture, like a top view, I would probably choose this. Um, but yeah, um, let's set that aside for a sec. And here's the rip cord. It says that it's a 9 inch rip cord and I'm pretty bad at measuring, so I'm not sure if it's true or not. I haven't measured it yet. Uh, it's kind of hard to stretch it out. There we go. Um, it doesn't look super long, but it's supposed to be longer than the, uh, the, the other Hasbro Beyblade Burst. And uh, at the Target that I went to that had these, they literally only had the variations of the original starters, aka Valtriac. Spryze and Rocktivore, Kerbius with like the mixed up colors and mixed up stuff. Uh, Wyron and Doom Sizer, and then the Super Group launcher. They didn't have any of the other starters. Um, so basically, anyone that went to that target wanting to get into Beyblade Burst had to pick up a booster and a Super Grip launcher. There weren't any stadiums there, sadly. Um, but yeah, the report is better than I expected. Um, but it's kind of, sometimes it's sort of like jammed when you put it in. Um, but anyway, speaking of putting it in, there are three ways to rip this, which is really a change from has, uh, from Takara Tomy. You have this one launcher that can be ripped in so many different ways. Like, the string launcher, unless you have a launcher grip, you can't really rip back. It's kind of, like, weird. It's, it's really awkward to do this, to rip back. So most people just rip sideways, unless they have a launcher grip, and then they just position it sideways. Um, I have a launcher grip right here, so I'll just uh, show you that right now. And here we go. So you can hold it sideways and then rip it like so. But this, you can still hold the grip like that. And since it's all one piece, except for this, which is just screwed in or something. But you can rip it in different ways. So first, there is ripping it outward. And in this form, it sort of looks like a lesser quality sword launcher as if Hasbro tried to recreate the sword launcher, which they didn't, but you can rip like this. And one thing that's interesting is the little part with the Beyblade here. I'm going to do that again. The part that holds the Beyblade, it keeps, it keeps spinning after you take the rip cord out, which is good because in Metal Fight, a lot of people for that had Hasbro launchers, but or light launchers, but didn't have a string launcher, would be modding their bay launchers by taking out a little stopper that stop that made this stop spinning once the ripcord left. Some people would mod their launcher so it kept spinning, because then it would gain power and possibly get to or be near the level of a string launcher. You can also launch it like this. Like this. And if you're left-handed... You can launch it like this, which I'm not left-handed. So there is a wide variety of uh, ways that you can launch it. So now let's do some test launches. So I don't have the Beyblade Burst Stadium, but I have the Rip Grind Stadium. That's the only good stadium I have. I'm going to test out a bunch of the different launching ways that you can launch this. I'm going to be using... Uh, Doom Sizer Oval XL, so I guess I'm just going to do like a demonstration of his power since I really like him. Um, so this is just a normal launch, like pulling outward. So, yeah. That was actually a pretty nice flower pattern there. Um, now that I uh, look at it, I guess. So. Oh, I just... Yeah, I'll just do two shots for each, so there's another one. Yeah, that was a- that's a better flower pattern. Oh, God. It's kind of hard to catch Beyblade Bursts, because if you get them from the layer, then they just end up bursting, so it's kind of weird. Um, I'm actually going to do the side 
launch now, so pulling out, like, sword launcher or something. Um, just pull out. There we go. Not as comfortable, but it's still pretty comfortable. And, uh, right here, the, the other launching ports can serve as a place to rest your thumb, which is pretty, pretty comfortable. And, uh, also you can hold it like this. You don't even have to use the grip. You can just hold it like a normal light launcher. Um, but that's kind of implied, right? Um, another out launch. That was a pretty powerful one. Um, now I'm going to, I'm actually going to do another out launch, sort of just holding on to it as if there's no grip. So if you don't like launcher grips, let's see how it goes. Oh god, that was that was pretty bad. Um I'm gonna try to do that again. There we go. So that worked. Okay, so next I'm going to insert it in the left hand side. And I'm gonna try to rip it left-handed, which is gonna suck, but you know just to show you the feel of it. Three, two, one, let it rip! It's a Hasbro base, so I just like to say let it rip. Um, just one more shot with left-handed. And now, I'm actually gonna try to do left spin by inserting the ripcord into this. So, let's see if I can pull off a left spin. Um, because basically the teeth are going in opposite directions, so I'm going to see if I can pull off left spin. Okay. Three, two, one, let it rip! I think that that might have been left spin. That's crazy. That, okay, Doom Sizer is basically a defense type now. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if left spin is going to work. Because the prongs are facing differently. Um, but, yeah, now let's get to the final conclusion. So, in the end, I can definitely recommend the Bailey Burst Super Grip Launcher um, by Hasbro. If this was a Takara Tomy product, I would not recommend it. But there are some bladers, um, like me, and even some people that are younger than me, that don't have access to Takara Tomy products. Because they have to order them. Um... Say their parents let them buy something, but only at a toy store. Hasbro's gonna be there. Hasbro's the only burst that they're gonna have. And I, and for a Hasbro blader, I just can't recommend this enough. Because it's a really good Hasbro launcher. Um, and yeah, I did get it early. And I can't really compare it to other launchers. So I don't know if it's really bad compared to the other ones or whatever. But I think that it's pretty good. Um, and I did a few battles with my brother, he was using this, and I was using the string launcher, and he actually ended up winning most of them. Um, I think it's a pretty good launcher, it's an okay grip, not the best, and the bottom of it is really bad, but I still really, really like it, especially if you can find it early, and this was supposed to re release in March, yeah, March, so, yeah, that's in a long time, so... I think that if you can find this early, totally get it because it's early. But even if you have to wait till March to get it, I can still recommend it. Unless by that time if they've released a different launcher. But I think that this is a really great launcher. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video and I'm out.